In this video, we're going to work out this indefinite integral. So to do this problem, we're going to use a u substitution. We're going to let u be the inside function. So this is really sine x to the fourth power. So we'll start by letting u be equal to sine x. So u is equal to sine x. And then notice right away when you compute du, well, that's the derivative of u. And the derivative of sine is cosine. So we get cosine x dx. And this is good because this is pretty much what we have here. The only thing that's missing is the negative sign. So we have a couple choices. We can multiply both sides by negative one, or we can just ignore the negative sign and just replace all of this with du, and the negative will just hang out. I'm all about letting that negative sign just hang out. So let's just leave it there. So let's leave that negative sign there. And then this cosine x dx is du. So the negative sign just hangs out. And then this is sine x to the fourth power. So it's u to the fourth power. Beautiful stuff. So now we can bring this upstairs so we can use the power rule. When you bring this upstairs, the exponent will become negative. So this will be u to the negative four du. Good stuff. So now we can add and divide by the result using the power rule. So this is negative u to the negative three and you divide by negative three. That's the power rule. You add one to this and divide by the result. Plus our constant of integration, capital C. So this is equal to negative and negative is positive. So this is one over three. Let's take this u and bring it downstairs. So this is one over u cubed plus c. The last thing to do is maybe replace the u with what it actually is. So u is equal to sine x. So this is one third, one over sine x quantity cubed. And you can use shorthand notation plus c. You can even write it as cosecant because one over sine is cosecant. Uh, but let's just leave it like that. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.